Sizzle and Spice is brought to you by Chata Quality Food Products, Blue Band, Chic Leisha Limited, Fine Choice Meats, and TheBestToys.com. Welcome back, my beautiful people, to another thrilling and exciting and tasty episode of Sizzle and Spice. I'm your host, Janine Edwards, and today, today, my friends, it's all about the cuisine. It's all about the cuisine with our good, good friend, Chef Anslim Alot. How are you? I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. Very nice to have you on Sizzle and Spice here yeah. today. And Chef, what will we be creating? So I'm what we're excited. creating here this evening is a fajita style spring roll topped with a piqui de gallo sauce. And we're gonna cook that here for you today. Topped with a huda what? A piqui de gallo sauce. A, a, a feeling uncomfortable saying it, huh? A pico, a gallo. pico de gallo. Ah, uh, when they say so, yeah, it, when they say it quick now. Yeah. It's some. Yeah, the Chinese accent. Yeah. yeah, a pico de gallo. De gallo, yeah. A pico de gallo sauce. Yeah. And that is made out of. That is basically made out, made out of chopped onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes. Okay, and cool. And a lime juice, yeah. All right, chef. So you know how the thing goes. I'm gonna yeah. assist you in your cooking today. Sure. Uh, so what would you like me to help you with first? Oh, so first we're gonna cut up the um the vegetables. Okay, yeah, let's list out all these wonderful ingredients. What would we be using today? So we have some bell peppers, tomatoes, mm -hmm. right? Also, we have some jalapenos. Ooh, jalapeno. Yeah, right. We do um, basically shadow benny. Love that. Uh, our local, our local spice. Some, yeah. some lemons, onions, and some garlic powder. And of course, we have the skins, yeah. the chicken, and we're also using blue band butter. All right, chef. All right, so let's jump into it one time. So I'm about to ask you a little questions. And uh, what would you like me to chop up and assist you with? Okay, start with the onions. Start with the onions? Yeah. All right. So chef, how long have you been doing this thing? So actually doing this my, my most of my career. Uh-huh. And how long is that most of the career? I'm um, from the age of 19. 19 years old. Yeah. So you're only doing it two years then? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've been doing this thing for a while. Tell me, you have any formal training? I went to TTH, I trained at Tobago as part of the Institute. Right. Right. Um, also, working a couple of popular restaurants, show, crave, uh -uh. doing a few, travel, be, a, be as somebody's personal chef. Oh, yeah, so, you know. Ooh, so much things to talk about here all at yeah. once. Tell me about the experience about being uh, or traveling to be a personal chef. That's it's a lot of work. It's not as, as fun as everybody makes it no? seems to be. It's, it's a lot I of work. I was now about to say that sounds like a dream job. It's a dream job, yes, but it's a lot of work. Uh, work in work. what way? Is it the preparation? Is it dealing so like, with instance, people? Dealing people is one, mm -hmm. but you have to be in the country before the, 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 the clients reach. Okay. And you got to get everything ready before. So basically, it's a lot of prep before. Okay. Yeah, a lot of prep before. And Chef, what keeps you motivated? You sound like a real nice grounded person. But no, what keeps you a lot of things keep me motivated. Creating all the time, doing different adventures like Sizzle and Spice, you know, you do so also hosting an event, like different brunches. I have a brunch coming up, it's uh -huh. called Hideaway. Hideaway, right? right. Hideaway is a brunch experience. This year we are doing a Cuban brunch experience. Oh, nice. Right, so it's something like doing different things to keep myself motivated as a chef because sometimes they get kind of bored yeah um do you think life or your business life has changed drastically since covid yes because now i'm not no longer an employee i am the owner of my own okay. catering company so i do uh, this is the name of sifted palette okay. and i do small desserts cakes and gourmet meals oh, nice. right? i love that that is something nice. Tell me about some of your seasonal stuff in your, your menus. Like when we have our Christmas in Trinidad, we have so many seasons. Yes, there's so many seasons. So tell menu. me about some of your seasonal creations. So what stands out to you? So it's, I mean, a lot of things stand out with, 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 with different seasons, especially Christmas, you know, you had to get ready for your, your black cake, your pastels, your things. So you're, you're basically a lot of prep beforehand. Mm -hmm. So like your Christmas actually starts not in, in December. Right. In October, no, that late is October it. into November. So you're yes. making, you're already making pastels again with black cake ready. Then it's the carnival season. Uh-huh. Right? So basically the carnival season is another pump. And you have it all inclusive. And then it all inclusive. And then now after that is wedding season. So wedding it's, season. it's constant pump. Right. It's, you understand? So every season you kind of get ready. You had to get ready beforehand. Nice. You understand? I love that. In terms of creating, so at least carnival is basically in the air already for us. Yes, it is. Because people don't, don't know it is in the air. 
because you have to send all your codes, all your all your new creations before to, to, to all different people to make sure they make the you know. So it's plenty, plenty work. That is lovely. I mean, you're educating us as yeah. we go along here today. Yeah? Yes, Carnival actually starts right after Carnival for some people. Right now, Chef, what are three tools you cannot live without in your kitchen? Hmm. Hmm. Three. Three tools. Three tools. Should I cut anything else? Like it, yeah. It's good because um tomatoes. Okay. And cubes like this. Cubes, okay. Right, tree. Can't live without. Mm -hmm. Water. Water. Yeah, because you're the first. You're the first chef. No, because basically, is is to me when you basically when you work in a kitchen, you need is the constant washing your hands. You need water to this. You need you need. It's it's, it's a hard tool mm -hmm. not to work without. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Other than your knives, you know, you, you, know, you, can, you can't work without that. Yeah. Um. I have a problem with storage. Proper storage. So if you, if you know, I you know sometimes you know you don't have place to store anything. Mm -hmm. So now, now as a as a as a as a growing chef, storage is is important. Yeah. You understand tools? As I said, more tools. Yeah. I mean, other than the knives, I kind of make it work. Other than make it work, other than be doing regular tools, you know. Right. You understand? Because yeah. if you get my small, the, the, the smallest of areas are trying to make it work. But like, you know? Yes. You know, with, with all the water, with all these things, just kind of feel like, you know, it can't move. How are you going to do it? Yeah, how are you, you going to do it? Yeah. yeah. I love that, Chef. All right. So, guys, here's what. I'm going to continue cutting up these tomatoes. Yeah. And we're going to get probably the chicken going. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be right back, guys. This is how we do it on Sizzle and Spice. Hey. Sizzle and Spice. Let's cook it right. The best for your baby is at thebesttoys.com. From the best strollers, car seats, baby carriers, high chairs, booster seats, rockers, jumpers and bouncers, walkers, baby blankets, feeding accessories, bathtubs. Visit us in store at First Floor Movie Town Port of Spain, Forces Flagship Maspin, Eastgate Small Trin City, M6 Plaza Endeavor, or shop online now at thebesttoys.com. We have the best toys at the best prices. And we are back, beautiful people. I'm still here with my tomatoes, getting it all diced up and yummy for us. And chef, we are about to do the chicken, chicken breasts. We're gonna slice it up and marinate it. Uh huh. So yes, we have it here. Okay. We're gonna butterfly. Butterfly it. Yeah. Do not do the Iowa too. <laughs> Shadow. Shadow. With. And where? Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Don't know. I right. like that. Slices. In strips. Chef, tell Hi. me about a very proud moment that you've had thus far in your career. So a proud moment for me mm -hmm. was in 2019, that's just before COVID. Right. When I got the opportunity to to create something in the James Beard house. The James Beard house in New York. Who's James Beard? James Beard is a um a proper a proper, a popular chef. In New York, where he uh -huh. has a, basically a house where he, he shows off a lot of upcoming chefs or chefs that create different dishes in his, in his house. Oh, right? so you got it's like a, it's something on the power of a Michelin star. So we had a, something called Caribbean traditions, uh -huh. and basically we had to show Caribbean cuisine on that night. Right. Right. So basically, then 2019 was a very good, a proud moment for me to represent Trinidad in terms of creating my dish i did yeah so basically i'm a pastry chef by trade by tree all right, right? so, so we marinated so i have some uh -huh. chili here already chili paprika paps right uh-huh paps some and chilies lemon juice lemon juice that's real lemon juice boy yeah yeah right benny some shadow benny right shall i pass you my onion no that's for the pinky oh. de gallo pinky de gallo yeah you pass with the salt and pepper sure the pink on the mayo, cinco de mayo. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We're gonna celebrate with some drinks, tequila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinco de mayo. Chef, I see you put in some salt and black pepper. You need any more of the chatak? Want some chatak paprika? I'm gonna give it, oh my God. Right, so we have some chatak cumin of anjira. Right. Right, so get that. Right. All right, so we're marinating the chicken. Is there anything else that I can help you with? No, we're good for now. That's the side of cook. Cook all the chicken. 
and if they fill in to, to fill the spring roll. Okay, so should I turn on the stove? Yeah, sure. I don't do that. I don't actually do that. You would have to do that. Yeah. Why? Um, that's such a long story for a cooking show where people will trust me to cook. I don't want to tell them that I blew up someone with a stove. No, man. And caught a stove on fire. That doesn't sound right. On TV with a cooking show, you know? But these things did happen, guys. Practice safety in the kitchen, all right? You heard it here first on Sizzle and Spice. Now, when you were in high school, Chef, back in, you know, those days, yeah. you thought that you would have been doing this? You yeah, so you... I did cooking from Form 1 to Form 5. Really? Yeah. So this is always something that you're interested in? Yeah. Oh, man, that is lovely. So you're living a dream. More or less, yeah. Oh, nice. And you already have your established business, but in five years, you think you'll expand your business? Any thoughts of restaurants? Five, no, no. I mean, I'm, I've worked in a restaurant for a while, so basically I know how much hard work it is. Right. Right, but so far I enjoy catering. Right. So we're going in. Okay. Looking off the chicken. Right. So this is basic, simple. Yeah. What inspired you to do this recipe today? So this is us? a spin off from something I actually do in for the brunch. Which is an oxtail spring roll. So we're doing <laughs> so we're doing chicken in, in, in place of oxtail. Right? Go ahead, Chef. Right? So we're doing chicken in place of oxtail. Chef, I really thing. like oxtail and no chef. You come on here with here and no oxtail? No oxtail? I'm a good man, good man. Can come down to the brunch, man. Okay. Alright, I will come down to the brunch. Especially invited. Of course, and I'm gonna get some oxtail. Alright, yeah. cool. Alright, no problem. So here's what, we're going to finish, sizzle up this yeah. with our veggies. Yeah. All right. And then when we come back, we will show them. How to wrap. All right. To, yeah, Good. Sorry. No problem, guys. So we'll take a quick, quick commercial break and we will be right back right here on Sizzle and Spice. Sizzle and Spice, let's cook it right. Let's cook it right. Are you looking for a customizable studio space with green and white screen cyclorama and professional production equipment to carry out your next big project? SGP Studios is the perfect fit for you. TNT's largest studio space with an overhead lighting grid and sound treated. Perfect for television commercials, music videos, television programs, social media content and film productions. We also have a wide range of production equipment available for rental. You can choose from a selection of Netflix approved cameras, modern lighting equipment, professional audio gear, 40 foot and 20 foot cranes, gimbals, drones, lenses, action cameras and more, all at competitive prices. Whether you need a high-end cinema camera for feature film shoot, specialized lighting equipment for a music video or audio gear for a podcast, we've got you covered and with our easy online booking system, you can reserve the gear you need in just a few clicks. Check us out online at sgpstudios.com. Let's cook it right. Let's cook it right. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. Now, I am very excited because we're getting very close to actually making spring rolls. And I've yeah. never made a spring roll. I don't know why, but I just, I never did it. Right? So I'm going to learn a lot from you today. Yes. Yeah? Right. So we, what we're going to do now is to sort these the vegetables. Okay. Should I put some oil? Sure. Yeah. Now, while, while we were on break, guys, what I did is I... I did, I fried up the chicken and I also turned on the oil for our spring rolls, right? That's all I've done this thus far, right? So these are gonna... Sort it for a while. Right. Chef, you wanna do as I just do the kind of, the pot thing too? Let me see, let me see. Sure. Yeah, you can do it. You want me to do it? Yeah. Right. You see how the scales improve? You see, get high five there. You want to touch there? The first time I do that, all the food fall down. So that's a real big improvement for me. Only um, three onions fell down today. So I feel real proud so, of myself, chef. Real, real powder, proud. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. No, ooh, all right. Right. That's how I like my food, eh? Some chatak. Chatak. Remember, my, my hand a little heavy. Just now we had a little incident with the pops. So right. my hand also a little some heavy. Chatak again. Cumin. Yes. Not too much. All right. Right? So just toss up this a little bit? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we put it back in our fine choice chicken. Yeah. All right. And then basically we finish. 
Yeah, that's a wrap. All right, goes. we have to wrap it up. Yeah. We're going to wrap it so up. The oil is going here, so we're just making sure this get a little, the sweat a little bit to bring on all the flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are we good? Okay, Chef. No problem. I love that. Now, Chef, what is one improvement or maybe two improvements that you think Trinidad and Tobago needs to make when it comes to culinary arts? Um, two improve, one improvement, we need to work together as a team and really bring culinary or Trini, Trini, Trini style food to the forefront mm -hmm. and not compete with each other. You know, so nobody's better than nobody and everybody has their individual skills yeah. and we can really bring the Trini style food to the forefront. Yeah. Now, I always ask chefs, like, if you had the opportunity to go to any country and learn to cook, like, what country would you go and learn to cook in? I mean, France was my go-to because, I'm, I mean, I'd start my career as a pastry chef. Right. But now, I have so many options, so many options. Food, food is so wild right now. Yeah. So wild. Right, so basically, we at the, the four corners. We at the four corners. Wait, I need to get one then. Thank you, Chef. My beautiful jewel. Four corners, that's it. Right, okay. So, ready, Zong? Right. Veggies. And a fine choice chicken breast. Nice. I want more chicken. I'm a meat mouse. Right. Nice. And now we get to the folding. Right. Simple. Fold over, triangle. Not, not all the way. Tuck in the side. I can envelope. And then you roll. I did it. Right? Yeah. I did it. Just Chef, why on do it? No, make sure it's, it, it's so, it, it needs to be sealed. No, it needs to be sealed as well open out on you. On, on the oil. Yeah, in the oil. So basically, you don't want to open more than all your, all your, all your flavor. Okay, so I think we could try to put these in now. Yeah. So just rest in it? Yeah, rest in. Don't bend the fingers. So what's if you, you've ever had a, a bad incident in your kitchen? Um, like how I accidentally burnt up my stove, you know? <laughs> Has that ever happened to you, Chef? And you can really. admit it, you know? It's okay no, 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 not really, not really. Mistakes. I had, I had up with bad up with these, but not, not, not as bad as. Are you trying to say what happened to me was really bad? Yeah. Yeah, chef, don't say that. No, I'm like, still for, like I'm still here. I'm still here. Like know, for instance, cooking. forgetting something in the oven, forget a cake in the oven, that kind of thing. Simple thing like that, but nothing to talk about going down that kind of thing. Well, it wasn't really my fault. I don't, you know, that's why I don't really like to light the stove. Right? That is all right. So we just have to um make the topping for it. Okay, would just you like to me to assist you with the topping? Sure. Okay, what can I do to help? So you mix it together with tomatoes, onions. Mix together the tomatoes and the onions. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's it? Yeah, I'm gonna add the flavor and see. So, right. Got some garlic here. Got the powder. Mix it up? Yeah. Right. Some shallow bennies. Bennies. Nice. Lime juice. Lime juice. Boom bong. Right. And add the tomatoes. Tomatoes, babao. Nice. I mean, call this picadillos. Picky the gallo. Picky the gallo. So you add the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, no problem. And this is just the garnish. Yeah. Really? Okay. 
Speaking of garnish, what's your favorite uh, your favorite garnish, your favorite way to garnish a dish? Everything fresh. So like how this is a, a, a freshly made, like so we say a salsa, mm -hmm. right? Not, I'm not, I'm not into the, the microgreens as yet, you know, the microflowers and that kind of thing. I love microgreens though. So the microflowers and thing is a, is a modern thing. So when I was coming up, like fresh salve and, and fresh ingredients was something we had to learn how to recreate and use. Okay. In order for us to make the dish elevated. And now, microgreens. Yeah. You put a little microgreens micro on your plate and that. That's it. Yeah. Right. So it has simplified itself a little bit. Yeah. All right. And what do you think about microgreens? No, it's good enough. It's super. It is good. Super ingredient. Yeah. It's super easy. Right? So some of them, some of the um, microgreens had a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're coming off with the um, spring rolls. Spring rolls. I love spring rolls. Shall I bring the plate a little closer to you? We finished with this, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get ready. We're gonna cut them in half on the bias. Right. Ooh, we re oh, we really chefing, boy. Simple, ay, simple, ay, quick, ay. easy. Ay, 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 look easy at dish. you. Up by your pattern for so. Right. Ay, ay, ay. What do you think Trinidad can do? Uh, probably to improve. More of this, like competitions, maybe we can yeah. host international. Tell me a little bit about that. No, I mean, they could just work to more together in terms of more pop up shops together, more more collaborations, more more different type of things that bring uplift each other's brand instead of just competing. Yes. You understand? I because, love that. you know, I mean, Trinidad has a lot of food. The exactly. has a lot of food. A lot of different styles of food. Everybody has a unique style of doing something, and they could bring it to the forefront, and mm. all of us get. Could, could benefit from it. So, chef, this looks amazing. I love your plating. Um, is it Piki de Gallo? Piki de Gallo. I'm so sorry. I'm not getting that word today. I'm yeah. really, really sorry about that. Now, before we jump into this amazing dish, I want you to raise a glass because you're an amazing chef and you're doing great things for Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Congratulations to you and all your achievements and yeah. all the best in the future. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Cheers. No problem. Mm. Refreshing. All right. So let's jump into this because I want to eat so badly. So can I can just go ahead? Yeah, you can go ahead. True? Are you gonna are you gonna eat with me? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Let's do this together. So I have my pico de gallo and let's go. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Very, very tasty. Very fresh. Well seasoned. I love this. Simple, easy. Simple, easy. And nutritious. If you know what I mean. So if you're looking for that go-to meal, you know, somewhere around the corner. If you're looking for that go-to meal, this is what you have to do for the children. This is very, very yummy. Very, very tasty. Chef? Once again, we'd like to say thank you. No problem, my friend. Thank you for coming on Sizzle and Spice. And okay, guys, you can have a bite too. And we'll see you on another episode of Sizzle and Spice, baby. Oh. Let's cook it right, let's cook it right From morning till midnight, day and night, day and night Don't miss a bite, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be hot Sizzle and spice, the flavors you saw Sizzle and Spice was brought to you by Chata Quality Food Products, Blue Band, Chic Limited, Fine Choice Meats, and TheBestToys.com.